most people don't know anything about Balenciaga. Is that how you say it? I say it, Sarah. I don't know. I just... Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Okay. $2,000 sweaters. Okay. It's really expensive couture kind of clothing, blah, blah, blah. It's a Spanish fashion house, um, and it has had real sway, f- apparently, for a very long time. They, uh, well, let me welcome back Stu from Vacation. Stu, what do you know about this story? Glenn, think of me. I mean, this is just a <laughs> theoretical sense. Okay. Think of me as a person yeah. who went on Thanksgiving break. And try to stay away from grooming stories while I was on that okay, break. Okay, that's hard to understand, but okay. <laughs> and also, in, additional, uh, in, a, in addition to this, have never heard of Balenciaga. Right. See, good, I, even good, got, good, I, good. I pronounce it, but I don't right. know what it is. I've never heard of it until you know this weekend. So what do you know about it? The only thing that I would say I know about it is, w- didn't they take some pictures of like kids... With teddy bears and the bears were like bondage bears or something. I don't know. I saw one of the pictures. That's all I've heard. Okay. So there's a lot more to this story as it goes on. Uh, The bondage bears and the picture with the panic faced children surrounded by empty wine glasses uh, is what we all kind of saw. And we're (laughs) like, huh, that's not good. The picture uh, features a dazed looking boy in a cluttered room. Among all the club clutter, there is some disturbing things that have been found. For one, the boy is wearing red shoes. That has symbolized royalty and unstoppable power like the red heels of King Louis XIV. Now, this is a weird connection to Tony Podesta. In the pedophilia uh, paintings owned by Tony Podesta, children are wearing red shoes. Now... The boy to the boy's left is a drawing of a rainbow. To his right is a drawing of earth with a crow looking down over it. And on the ground, there is a roll of ticker tape with Balenciaga spelled not the normal way, but spelled capital B, capital A, capital L, uh, uh, sorry, capital B, capital A, capital A, capital L, Ian Saga. Oh wow! Uh, okay, mm-hmm. you know, you know the meaning of that still. What yeah, is it? the god of? Uh, uh, I mean, we've talked about it a million child times. Child sacrifice. Chi- that's how. Okay. Yeah. I, I, child I, sacrifice, pedophilia, unstoppable right. sex, and evil, and yeah, uh, yeah. Moloch. Right. It is the ancient uh, uh, god in the Bible, Moloch or Baal, B A A L. Um, It is a Canaanite god of child sacrifice. Mm. Okay? Nice. You'll find in in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 19, Baal is identified as Moloch, and a crude drawing shows a horned animal that resembles Baal. So that's also in the picture. Now, this is no accident for a couple of reasons. The company had to have had this ticker tape designed and printed and put on the floor. Also, in March, at a Paris show for this company, Kim Kardashian wore a full body dress made only of ticker tape with the word Balenciaga on it, but it was spelled correctly. Now, if one of those things would have appeared on their own, it would be one thing. But putting these things together... And then seeing the people behind it, it becomes very clear. Now, so you know, the company has blamed this on the photographer, and we'll get into that in a second. Then they went out and they said, well, it's the advertising. We didn't even see any of these pictures before they went out. Does anyone believe that? Okay, so here's the photographer. He was described... um, Uh, As a documentary photographer whose projects often make expensive portraits of everyday uh, eccentric, eccentricity. How do you say that? Um, Extricity. Yeah. Okay. I heard it in my head. We are. Now that you started talking. I know. 
Yeah, eccentricities. Eccentricities. Yes. That's Thank what I you, heard Sarah. in my head. You should be over here because I'm already in the Hall of Fame, so yeah, I don't, don't even anymore. try anymore. <laughs> um, a press release from the company said the gift shop campaign iterates uh, on the artist series Toy Stories, which features a series of photographs from around the world of children surrounded by their favorite toys. Hmm. Okay. In a statement, the photographer said, As a photographer, I was only and solely requested to light the given scene, take the shots according to my signature style, as usual for commercial shooting, the direction of the campaign and the choice of the objects displayed are not in the hands of the photographer. Now, who is the person responsible for that? Well, that's their creative director, known as Demna. She's from the country, Georgia. She's also worked for Louis Vuitton. She is the person that in the 2021 Met Gala, uh, she... It's a she or a he? Yeah, right. I don't Sarah, know. Sarah, I'm not going to identify. Right. I'm not going we to We don't know. There's a, it's a fluid situation here as we can. I think it's he. I think it is okay. he. Um, but he designed the gimp outfit that Kim Kardashian wore. Okay, you know, the okay. okay, where she was covered all in black rubber or whatever sure, the hell it is. Okay. Dramatic. Very dramatic. Um, now, they also collaborate with Adidas. Remember, this is the company, one of the companies that just fired Kanye, mm -hmm. but they are tied deeply into the Kardashians. Um, now, if you go back into some of their old photo shoots, there is a pattern here. They just did one. They released a collaboration with Adidas, which they called the Spring 23 Campaign. Um, the, um, the pieces are the pieces that were on the Spring 23 presentation uh, on their runway. Um, and the collection was shot by a completely different photographer. And that is important because the imagery isn't a coincidence or a decision made by the first photographer. The theme was business office environment, and the setting was a swanky high-rise in Manhattan, and Nicole Kidman is in the ads. In the photo, for a $3,100 hourglass handbag, there's a printed copy of the 2008 United States versus Williams decision on child pornography laws, uh, and whether uh, promotion of child pornography curtailed First Amendment freedom of speech rights. So there's the handbag, and there's the Supreme Court ruling. Okay? But I'm sure it's just a coincidence, mm. and the ph a photographer's fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Newsweek says the extract, uh, the extract is part of an analysis with respect to United States versus Williams presented, in the late, uh, pr uh, presented by the late Justice Antonin Scalia, from May 2008, which details the grounds for material to be defined as child pornography. Okay. In another photo, a man in a terrible outfit stands in this swanky office with a postcard view of cities behind him. Behind him also is a diploma with the name of John Philip Fisher. This connection isn't as solid, um, but... Speculation is, who is John Philip uh, Fisher? Apparently, he is a pedophile out of Michigan. Okay. In, a, in, a, in a, uh, another advertisement photo, hourglass small croc embossed top handle bag. A woman props her feet onto a cluttered desk. So much clutter, it's hard to tell what's on all the paper. But in the background, you see a stack of books. One of them is titled Fire from the Sun. It's about an artist uh, whose work has been linked to pedophilia, cannibalism, and blood rituals. A description posted on Amazon says that his artwork features children who are presented alone or in groups against a studio-like backdrop that negates time and space while underlining the theatrical atmosphere and artifice that exists throughout his recent work. Okay. So he is trying to recreate, I guess, the cherubs of the Renaissance. Uh, they are just, they're allegories. They're not really children. And they contrast their, their um, innocence with the evils of the world. Okay. Now, 
There's another person involved. This one is really interesting. This is the chief designer for the company. Uh, her name is Lata Volkava. Uh, apparently, and I've seen some of it. Now, it's all been made private, but, you know, through the Wayback Machine, you can, you know, the internet is forever, gang. On her Instagram page, she has, uh, I mean, when I say tons, I mean uh, a disturbing amount of uh, satanic imagery and violence. One image shows a woman uh, lying on a pentagram uh, as a satanic figure looms over her. Another shows a woman dead on her side in a field with her stomach ripped open and entrails uh, sprawling out on the grass beneath her. Third photo is a vintage-style men's bedroom, but covered in blood and bullets and broken glass. And the fourth image uh, was a child holding up a skull with a frame and the star sign symbols uh, from the astrological chart. So she seems wonderful. Now, she is the chief designer for this uh, company. Also on her Instagram account, there's an image of her wearing a T-shirt from her favorite band, Cannibal Corpse, and she's inside of a church. Now, remember the woman laying with her entrails out in a completely different, uh, in a, in a completely different uh, picture? Cannibal Corpse, one uh, of their songs, uh, the lyrics, entrails ripped from a virgin's seaward. Virgin tied to my mattress, legs spread wide, ruptured bowel yanked from her inside, de-virginized with my knife, internal God bleeding. Almighty. I can't tell you even more of it. It is awful, awful. Also, an image of a little girl bound and gagged. Uh, this is the woman who is like the leader of all of the design for this particular um uh, particular brand. She also works with, with Adidas, which launched a sneaker line designed by her. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, it's it just goes on and on and on. Now, Kim Kardashian said she's reevaluating her relationship. <laughs> Now, I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> really? How much thought do you need to put into this? Well, she she reached out to the company and they said, oh, darn that. Oh, that photographer. Oh, we're going to change things here. Really? Are you? Yo, yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, somebody else that is involved. Um would be the uh, would be the daughter, uh, let's see, the the stepdaughter, I think, of Kamala Harris. She's androgynous, uh, has um, you know, just a well, a lot wouldn't say the look of a model, um, but the guy who was really there for Kamala when she was running for president, gave the max to her campaign, happens to run this, uh, this modeling agency. And after Kamala won as vice president, her daughter reaches out and says, hey, I'd like to be a model. And guess where they place her? With this company. This is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. 